In this video, we are going to talk about how we can implement an interface to simulate the uh, transition zone between the soil and the sheet pile. Uh, it's very important to include a sheet pile to include this in our simulation because if we didn't include uh, an interface that doesn't simulate the transition zone between soil and uh, structure and the all stresses and st uh, all uh, internal stresses in the sheet pile could be like uh, not very accurate in order to simulate this uh, interface uh, we simulate this in construction stage so in this tutorial we need to focus on how we can add the interface and how we can overcome uh, where the problem when we deal with the stages before the uh, implementing the interface why because in the initial stages if we implement uh, if we added interface the nodes which we know in finite element will not be connected together and when we run this analysis these nodes will deal as they are not connected to each other and doesn't simulate the real case and will uh, uh, result in uh, represent a bad results so we need to know how we can deal with this and how can we use GTS and X features to overcome this uh, in, uh, problem with the construction stages after we go uh, to the uh, software and we start to model our problem we have our sheet pile here in the middle and the anchor which represents a strut at depth minus two and this is a concrete block uh, uh, which connect the uh, connected through the ankle to the sheet pile and we will start to add an interface so from the tab of meshing here we go to interface and from line interface type we choose from nodes we choose the nodes for the interface here and we start to choose wizard and we will start to simulate this structure parameter through the following we have to simulate this through the virtual thickness 0.1 and strength reduction method factor which is uh, 0.7 the virtual stick is, uh, thickness is uh, considered an, uh, an element which represents the transition zone between the soil and the structure. This is uh, and its thickness depend on the relative stiffness between the structure and the soil itself. So when the relative stiffness is very large, as uh, the structure stiffness is very large than the soil stiffness, this value will be large but when the relative stiffness is small because the soil is very stiff like rock soil this value will decrease to 0.01 the strength reduction factor this factor we can use it to decrease the angle of friction and we can decrease the boss like uh, the Poisson ratio and model of elasticity and we can reduce the cohesion of the soil by these percentages to because of the case of softening the soil so now we will say 0.7 and we will say apply now we already implemented our interface here so we will simulate our interface for the anchor which will be like this we will choose we will choose these nodes and we will start to simulate to add wizard okay and we say anchor interface and we say apply already now we already simulated this problem so when we go to uh, our uh, construction stages we go to the initial case and we use with activate so for initial we will add all soil layers and in the next layer we will add the sheet pile and of course we will add the interface element so the interface element here we call it line interface as we can see here and we say save and in next we add the anchor and the uh, pretension force in the uh, in the anchor and the block and we add the anchor interface here and we say save and we're already dredging the first layer then we start to dredge second layer then the third layer and finally we included the live fluid 
then we can start to run our problem and see how will be the result and as we can see here as a, as a, we can see if we run the model it will not be running that's why pick and it failed because if we logged here in the initial stage let's go back to the initial stage when we log here we will find this as two nodes we we'll choose nodes here those are like we are choosing two nodes here so that's why we have to include uh, a rigid link what is a rigid link rigid link if we went back here to the software and went to interface we can find here there is something called rigid link so you have to include a rigid link here between the two elements when there is no interface and there is no sheet pile so you go and like we will go back again and delete the anchor interface we delete the pile interface and now we are going to merge everything merge all soil parameter find apply now everything is merged and now we will go to interface again and we will start to add interface element from nodes as we can see here and we can say this is 0.7 like again we will go to material here we delete all interface parameter we go here it's not exist anymore we we'll go back to interface and from nodes we choose this and we call it um, sheet pile interface and the wizard will be 0.7 and we say ok and we say here include rigid link and we say apply and we will go to this node of the anchor and we will say wizard ok include rigid link and in this case we're gonna call it anchor interface and we say apply now when we go to construction stage we go to in initial stage in this case we will include a rigid link and a rigid link one from the interface uh, of the pile of the sheet pile and one from the interface for the anchor and then we say save then we go to sheet pile then sheet pile we add the inter the sheet pile interface and we say save but we start to activate the rigid link for the pile and we say save then we go to dredging one and we activate the anchor and the block and we activate the interface for for the anchor and we deactivate the other rigid link and we say save and close and we start in this case we start to run our model the result as we can see here there is no problem with our model and it run uh, smoothly with no problem we start to sh show the results from uh, the displacement as we can see we can modify it to fringe and we can show the deformation in different cases and we can make it undeformed and we are curious about the straining action in the uh, pile or the sheet pile so we will see the bending moment I will clear everything and show the sheet pile so we can see here the effect of uh, the anchor 
as we can see here and this is the maximum moment and we can see the axial forces and uh, the shear mo uh, shear uh, stress or shear force and this is the axial force all over the boil so I will stop this video at this uh, point so we already now understand what is the importance of construction stages and when we should include a rigid link when we inc when we consider interface in our problem and how we can use it see you in next videos thank you